Oh my goodness, Julie, you'll never guess what happened earlier. Okay, so me and Paul are out and about, we're all around the town and everything, you know what I mean? So, we're walking into the shop and we see this man run out of the shop. I mean, he nearly shoved me over. I nearly went flight. No, that did happen, Paul. That's did what, that is what happened, Julie. He's telling fibs. So he nearly shoves me over. I mean, I'm like, oh, what's happening? And I see he's got a block of cheese in one hand and he's got a pack of baby bells in the other. And he's actually stolen them from the shop. No, Paul, he didn't pay. He was running, okay? I did not see no receipt flying behind him or stuck to anything on his body, okay? He, he was stealing the baby bells and the cheese because there was a security guard running after him, Paul, okay? So don't make out I'm lying. Right, so anyway, he's running out the shop and this other secu this security guy, he's so fast, he's like running after him. He nearly knocks me flying again. No, Paul, it did happen, Paul. No, he wasn't in watching from a distance at all. We were literally up in the scene. Like, we were literally like, it was like being on his senders in Albert Square, like, we were literally up and close and personal with everything that was going on, so anyway, they come running out, and this security guy leaps over the barriers, okay, he leaps over them like this, no, he didn't just unlock them, Paul, at all, he leaps over the barriers, and uh, tackles this guy to the ground, and he calls the police, and the police come in, like, two seconds, I've never seen it so fast, no, Paul, no, Paul, we're not lying, I'm not lying, Paul, well, the police come and they arrest the man because he stole cheese and a baby bell. Absolutely. No, no, I'm not telling Phil at all. No, it did happen, Julie. Don't listen to him.